In this video I describe how to connect to and interact with the Hydra power supply using the included PC software. As you can see the software is already open on my machine. The first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that the correct COM port and baud rate are selected to talk to the Hydra. The Hydra does show up as a serial port on your computer so to find out what port that is you can open the device manager for your PC, go down to ports, and look for Silicon Labs USB to UART bridge. That's the Hydra. In parentheses it will indicate what COM port that is. If you don't see this in your device manager, make sure that the Hydra is plugged in and powered and that the correct drivers are installed. You can download the drivers on our website at chrobotics.com. On my machine the COM port is COM3 and the baud rate the default baud rate for all Hydras is actually 9600, except for some of the very first Hydras that were shipped, which shipped with a 14400 baud rate, which is actually what I'm using now. So I'll go ahead and hit connect, and it indicates that we're connected, the input voltage is displayed, and from this main dialog I can enable and disable all the individual outputs on the Hydra. The target voltage can be changed by dragging the slider underneath the voltage indicator. The maximum current can also be changed in the same fashion. Another way to change the power supply settings is to click on either the current or voltage display for the power supply and then manually type in the voltage that you want the supply to reach. And that shows the basics of how to interact with the Hydra.